The first time you fail at aligning something much smarter than you are, you die, and you do not get to try again. This is Eliezer Yurkowski, the most controversial name in the world of artificial intelligence. And if you listen to him talk long enough, eventually you'll hear him say something like inner alignment. First you have to solve inner alignment. Outer alignment. Then you get to solve outer alignment. Or effective altruism. Even in the field of effective altruism. But if you don't know what any of those words mean, they all point to the scariest thing in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence, which is something called the AI alignment problem. I want to talk about the alignment problem in machine learning. I know you are are working on AI alignment problems. So at the core of your belief that AI is going to kill all of us is that the alignment problem is really difficult. And it's this topic that keeps a computer scientist with a 200 IQ up at night. I know that if you build an AI and you like keep on making it smarter until I start voting its stuff up, it found out how to fool me. So what is the AI alignment problem? It's when you tell Ultron that you want world peace, only for Ultron to notice that the Earth can be real peaceful without humans. You believe in peace? and let us keep it. I think you're confusing peace with quiet. Or it's when you teach Megan to be a mother figure to Katie, only for Megan to take the idea of being a protective parent to a new level. Don't worry, Katie. I won't let anything harm you ever again. Or it's when you program Vicky to keep humans safe, only for Vicky to realize that there is nothing safer than being a prisoner in your own home. Move now. I'm going to service. Please remain indoors. This is for your own protection. In short, the AI alignment problem is the ticking time bomb that sits at the core of AI tools like ChatGPT. And according to Eliezer Yudkowsky, if we don't figure this out quick, it will lead to a technological singularity, leaving AGI to be the last invention of humanity. What the same planet does at this point is shut it all down and work on human intelligence enhancement. I don't think we're going to live in that same world. I think we are all going to die. So you really want to know more about the AI alignment problem? Bet. Let me put you on. King Midas, the man that wished that everything he touched turned to gold, but he soon regretted it after he touched his daughter and turned her into gold too. Now believe it or not, that ancient Greek myth is almost a one-to-one -one parallel with the problem we have with building artificial general intelligence. Because it forces you to ask yourself one question. What do you do when the goal that you have in your mind isn't translated properly to the supreme being that's going to carry it out? I know what you do. Don't build a supreme being in the first place. I know, I know. It seems foolish for us to be doing this. But according to AI safety experts like Eliezer Yudkowsky, we may have already crossed the point of no return. Maybe I will be wrong. Maybe the time article I wrote saying shut it all down gets picked up and there are very serious conversations and the very serious conversations are actually affected in, in shutting down the headlong plunge. All right, so how does AI technically work then? Okay, the main idea of AI works like this. Let's say that you're a human and you have some goal that you want to try to accomplish. So you build an AI system that'll take your goal and help you choose the best actions that'll help you achieve it. For example, a GPS AI may choose the optimal path that'll help you get to your destination the quickest. Or a chess AI will help you choose the best moves that'll help you win the game. These type of AIs are called optimizers because they choose the best way to help you achieve your goal. Okay, so what's wrong with that? I'll tell you, let's say you have a super Super powerful artificial intelligence that'll do whatever you tell it and all you got to do is give it a goal so you decide to do the noble thing and you write down some code that tells it to cure cancer and then the ai takes your goal and decides that the optimal way to cure cancer is to wipe out all humans you know because no humans means no cancer right so just like king midas had a problem expressing what he really meant with his wish humans face the same problem when it's time to take the goals that we have in our head and translate it to an artificial intelligence we do not know how to get any goals into systems at all we know how to get outwardly observable behaviors into systems. We do not know how to get internal psychological wanting to do particular things into the system. That is not what the current technology does. And this is the AI alignment problem, which ultimately asks, how do you translate the goals that you have in your mind to code and then give it to a super intelligent AI? Artificial intelligence. This could be it, person. This could be the key to creating all trauma. Yeah, so how would you do that? Well, you have two options. Option one is to take the entire concept of human ethics, get all of humanity to agree, and then translate that into code. Huh, good luck with that, bro. The two humans can't even agree on which all will put that up. What do you want? It's not that simple. What it do you want? Exactly, because what's ethically wrong to one person is perfectly fine to somebody else. Besides, it won't matter how hard we try because the goals that we have in our head will almost never directly align to the code that we give the AI. Hence, the alignment problem. 
And so the alignment problem is how do we build AGI that does what is in the best interest of humanity? How do we make sure that humanity gets to determine the future of humanity? All right, so what's option two then? Well, several computer scientists realized that the only way is to build an AI that will translate our goals and then train an AI model that'll help us carry it out. Hold on, bro. Did you just say the solution was to build two AIs? Yeah, the first AI, the one that we give our goals to, is called a base optimizer, and it kind of acts like a coach. So then the coach AI takes our goals, optimizes it, and then gives it to the other AI, who will then help us carry it out. Man, what? All right, think about it like this. You remember in the age of Ultron, how Tony Stark had a goal to create an AI that'll help him achieve world peace? I see a suit of armor around the world. Peace in our time. Imagine that. But Tony was smart enough to know that he can't make the same mistake as King Midas and give the goal directly to the AI itself. So what did he do? He gave the Iron Legion protocol over to Jarvis, who acted as the base optimizer for Ultron, the AI that would actually carry out the Iron Legion protocol in the real world. I'm going to apply this to the Ultron program, but Jarvis can't download a data schematic this dense. All right, so let me get this straight. Y'all's solution to a problem with one AI was to build two AIs. Yeah, it's crazy, right? But this is why the AI experts split the alignment problem up into two parts. The first part, where Jarvis aligns with Tony on the goal of world peace, that part is called outer alignment. And the second part is when Jarvis has to take his understanding of the goal and align with Ultron. That's called inner alignment. Alright, I think I got it. So the inner alignment problem is when Ultron smoked Jarvis there, right? It is. And the smarter you make the Mesa Optimizer, the bigger the risk for the inner alignment problem. Which has Eleazar terrified because nobody in the world has shown how they can solve the inner alignment problem. Not even him. I also didn't solve alignment. I'm too stupid to execute a handshake with a superintelligence that I told somebody else how to align in a cleverly deceptive way where that superintelligence ended up in the kind of basin of logical decision theory handshakes um, or, or any number of other methods that I myself am too stupid to envision because I'm too stupid to solve alignment. Nobody knows how to create any good AIs at all. The problem isn't that we have like 20 good AIs and then somebody finally builds an evil AI. The problem is that first very powerful AI is evil Nobody knows how to make it good, and then it kills everybody before anybody can make it good. Yeah, clearly Buddy is smart because he sounds scared of killer robots just like me. He is, which is why he's been on a worldwide AI safety tour, pleading with anyone that will listen to shut down their advanced AI systems before it's too late. Here's the deal. Let's say you solve the outer alignment problem and you could somehow perfectly explain your goals in the form of code. And then you put that code inside a base optimizer like Jarvis. Well, guess what? You still have the inner alignment problem of a Mesa optimizer like Ultron aligning on the goal. And according to Eleazar, that's what we got to figure out first. If you can solve the problem of making something want what exactly what you want it to want, then you get to deal with the problem of wanting the right thing. But first you have to solve the alignment. First you have to solve inner alignment. Inner alignment. Then you get to solve outer alignment. Hold on, man. Y'all making this sound way too complicated. I bet I could solve the alignment problem right now, free of charge. Let me guess. You're going to say, why don't we just build another AI to help us solve the alignment problem, right? Uh, it depends. Depends on what? If my answer is right or not. Well, let me save you some time, because according to Eleazar, we can't use AI to solve the alignment problem, of course. Where do people have this notion of getting AIs to help you do your AI alignment homework? And having AI do your AI alignment homework for you is like the nightmare application for alignment. Aligning them enough that they can align themselves is, is like very chicken and egg. So yes, Eliezer Yurkowski is afraid of the AI alignment pro, but most of his detractors aren't. If what you meant by alignment was how can I guarantee that my distant descendants do exactly what I say and believe exactly what I believe and will never disappoint me in what they do because they are fully under my control, I gotta go, gee, that looks kind of hard compared to what's happened in history. We've had a lot of pretty impressive AI for a while now. It's when the AIs are the most human-like with these large language models that people are the most scared and concerned. So that suggests that maybe a very advanced AI will look pretty human-like in many ways. Besides, focusing on which experts are right and wrong in this particular situation is irrelevant because the one thing that most AI experts can agree on is that we're less than a decade away from a Mesa optimizer becoming artificial general intelligence. So the only question that really matters is, will that intelligence be aligned with us?